Jubilee Marble and Granite, and we're going to talk today about granite edge details. Here I have, this is a 2cm stone, which is 3 quarters of an inch thick, and this is a 3cm stone, which is 1 and a quarter inches thick. Both are going to have the same edge details all along the side, but just to kind of illustrate the different looks between the thicknesses. Um, here you have a full bull nose on a 3cm. Here you have a full bull nose on a 2cm. Here you have an eased edge or a 3 8 round over on a 3cm. Same edge on a 2cm. 3 8 bevel. 3 8 bevel. You can see that bevel area looks a lot bigger on the 2cm because you're covering a much smaller uh, material thickness. You have a demi bull nose on a 2cm. This edge is actually going to make your stone appear thicker than what it is because you're, leave, you're doing away with this, uh, this top corner and your eyes kind of skip over it and give, it gives the illusion of thickness. Um, here's that same edge on a 3cm. We also have a flat polish edge detail, just kind of clean straight lines. And this same thing on a 2cm. This is the only edge, as far as a single edge detail that we have, that we consider an upgrade with the natural stone. This is called an OG edge detail, and this requires hand sanding. Typically, people will use this around islands or somewhere to emphasize, um, give it a little bit more of a dressier appearance. This is an example, this would also be an upgrade edge detail. This is an example of a laminated edge detail. And this is where we actually take a strip of the same material, adhere it, and then finish it out so it looks like one thick edge. This is a 4CM laminated bullnose edge detail. Something I'd like to point out about the, the differences between a bullnose and a demi bullnose edge detail are the user-friendly aspects of the edge. This is a demi bullnose edge detail on a 3CM piece of granite. This is a full bullnose edge detail on a 3CM piece of granite. Both of these are the same thickness of stone. This full bullnose just looks thinner because you're knocking off the bottom edge and rounding it all the way over. Also, if you spill something on the full bullnose edge detail, since you lose this corner, it will roll back to your cabinets or whatever surface you have behind, behind there. So for a kitchen, try and keep this bottom edge if that's of concern to you or if you want the thicker looking stone for your countertops.